morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pokemon Trainer Neats, and you're watching episode 6 of Theme Deck Thursday. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at the black and white basic blue deck. So, without further ado, let's head into the deck just to take a quick look at it. I'll show you what cards there are, and then we'll get straight into a battle. So, the deck has a couple of main attackers in Samurott and Seismitoad, and then there's some other support Pokemon that we're going to use as well. So 28 Pokemon in the deck, 16 trainers, and 16 energy. So we've got 4 Oshawott, 3 Duot, 2 Samurotts, this is our main attacker, this is the one we're going to look to set up 99.9% .9 of the time, 3 Lapras, 3 Timpole, 2 Palpitoad, 1 Seismitoad, 3 Feebas, 1 Milotic, now, in an ideal world, we set up Milotic first and then use Milotic to use Clear Surge to get out all our evolution cards and set everything up. But with there only being one Milotic in the deck, it is often very hard to set it up. Then we've also got four Baneri and two Lopini, and that's our Pokemon. Our trainers for the deck, we have two Crushing Hammer, two Potion, two Tool Scrapper, two Energy Switch, two Great Ball, two Silent, 2N and 2EXP Share. So, a decent set of trainer cards. EXP Share, great for, share, for um, sharing our energy when our Pokemon get knocked out. Um, energy Switch if we decide to use a different attacker. Great Ball to help us get our Pokemon. Silent for energy. N for draw support. So, yeah, we're looking at a pretty decent set of trainers. And then we've just got 16 water energy in the deck. And that is it for the deck. So, if we can, we're going to set up Milotic to get our evolutions out that way. If failing that, we're just going to go for Samurott and Seismitoad with Lapras as backup. And that is pretty much going to be that. So, let's now head over to the Versus mode. As per usual, we're just going to play a game, see what happens, and just go with the flow. Because that's how we roll on Theme Deck Thursday. So, we need the theme deck format. Here we are, black and white basic blue. Let's go. Good morning, guys. I gotta get another badge. You better figure out how to repay me for my broken spike. So, I wonder who our opponent's gonna be today. Our opponent is Panther 40. Playing one of the newer water decks, so it's water against water. So it'll be interesting to see how we get on in this matchup. There's going to be no weakness or anything or resistance, so let's see how we go. So my opponent's won the coin flip. We lost the coin flip. So shuffle and draw seven. So I think here we're going to go, because we've got no Milotic in hand, we're just going to start Lapras. We're going to go as aggressive as we can from the start. Sometimes with these theme decks, that's the best way to go. Power up a de semi-decent attacker, and away you go. So, bench Feebas, and we'll also bench Baneri. I quite often use Baneri as a sacrifice Pokemon if I need to buy myself a turn. I know that might be a little mean to the poor Baneri, but... The main attackers in this deck are the water Pokemon, so... Yeah. Okay, so my opponent started with a Porygon and immediately attached a Splash Energy to the Articuno on the bench, which is the Find Ice Articuno, and we see Skylar. So what's my opponent going to get here? Ah, we just ended up with, the same, with two songs the same in a row. That's because I have this particular song together forever on two different albums. It's on the To Be A Master album, and then it was released again on the Pokemon X CD. So I do have two, two versions of it. So we see a dive ball and a Gyarados. Okay. And just a pass from my opponent. So, we're just going to attach energy to Lapras and pass because that is all we can do. So back to my opponent. My opponent draws a turn. Evolves to Gyarados. And what else are we going to see from my opponent here? Oh, another water energy onto the Articuno and just a pass. Okay, so we're going to attach another water energy here, and then we're going to use water arrow, and we're going to start damaging the Articuno. Whilst my opponent isn't showing any signs of um, retreating the Porygon, we're just going to 
just going to attack the bench. Third energy onto the Articuno, so still no sign of retreating the Porygon from my opponent. Not necessarily an escape rope in there somewhere. Nope, just a pass. Okay then. So what have we just drawn? Ah, Duot. But we've got no Osho on. Okay, for now I'm going to keep hold of this water energy. Because I want to continue to spread some damage. Might as well put the damage on the Pokemon that's got the energy on. Although I must be careful that once that Articuna does come active, that freezing wind attack will be knocking me out. Pretty sharp. Ah, oh, my opponent plays N, but that's actually quite a big help to us here. Because we don't have that much going on for us. So, ah, so we've got some basic Pokemon. So we've got Oshawa, we've got Timpole. My opponent benches a Lapras. It's the Lapras from Breakpoint, the errant running attack. My opponent benches an Eevee. We see a Healing Scarf go onto the um, Articuno. What's Healing Scarf do again? Whenever you attach an energy card, heal 20 damage. Well, it's certainly already got enough uh, energy on it. So we'll bench Oshawott and we'll bench Tim Pole. We will attach an energy to Oshawott. And we're going to use Water Arrow again. Put more damage onto the Articuno. And then that's now my opponent's turn. Dive Ball from my opponent. I feel like this is going to be quite a tough battle for us. I don't think we're going to have it easy. So there is... Vaporeon with the dive ball. Now, does my opponent have energy? Is the question. Yep, looks like my opponent's going to retreat this time. So, we've kind of got ourselves into a little bit of a sticky spot by not knocking out the Porygon when we had the chance. My opponent's now retreated and we're going to get knocked out instead. Okay, so, options. Well, I'm going to promote Tim Pole. Because it's attack bubble. Okay, what? We're ending up with the same music. Oh, I must have it on repeat. Bear with me one second. Yeah, it's on repeat. Take that off repeat. There we go. Sorry about that. Right. Okay, so we'll attach energy to the Tim Hole. And I'm going to bench the other Tim Hole. And now we're going to have some bubble fun. So, bubble, 10 damage. Can we flip heads? Yes, we can! So that buys us a turn. So, Professor's Letter from my opponent. That'll get two energy cards. So, where are we going to see the energy? Onto the Gyarados. Yep, that's kind of what I expected. And then it's our turn again. So, there's a great ball, that's perfect. Great Ball reveals no Milo tick, but we have got Duots and the Samurai Bob. So we need Duot to be able to evolve, so we're going to take Duot now. So we can start to get somewhere. So we'll evolve to Duot. And we're going to attach energy. And then I'm also going to play Silent to get some more energy out. Give the deck a bit of a shuffle. One, two, three. He's only going to leave four energy cards left in the deck. Must be surprised. Okay, and then we're simply going to use Bubble again. See if we can buy ourselves another turn. Can we? Yeah, we're getting lucky with these flips today. That's two heads in a row. In fact, we're now in a position where we can actually retreat into Duot next turn and get the knockout. So, slowly but surely, starting to turn things around. So, we're going to bench another Lapras, because that Lapras will be quite useful. We're going to retreat the Timpole, having successfully bought ourselves a couple of turns. And then we're going to use Waterfall for 50, which will take the knockout on the Articuno. The splash energy means it will go back to our opponent's hand, but I don't believe the energies will, so... Yep, it's the 
Articuno goes back to my opponent's hand, but all the other things get discarded. Gyarados is promoted, now this will do... 80 damage and 10 to each of the bench Pokemon. Okay. Come on, you guys. I Fortunately, we have 50 hit points, so we shan't get knocked out. Oh, no. Not this again. Well, so that Gyarados sure is a piece of work. There's a third water energy. The Articuno comes back onto the bench. Again, I think the odds are kind of stacked against us here. Splash. I mean, if we draw into Samurai right here, then that's perfect, but... Chances of that happening? Yeah, that's a B-Bass. Okay, so... Options. Well, anything that we promote in the place of Duart will get knocked out. So, I am thinking that maybe we attach Energy to Lapras. Now, we can go for a Waterfall and get 50 damage on. But then, we're still going to end up in a situation where anything we promote is going to get knocked out. Well, might as well do as much damage as we can. So we'll just go Waterfall for 50. Yeah, that Gyarados is stronger than it looks. It's not the Gyarados that sees competitive play. That's the other Gyarados from Ancient Origins. But this one is... I'm not actually using Berserker Splash. That's a lot of damage from my opponent. 50. Okay, we'll promote Lapras. But to be honest, with now my opponent's got Gyarados set up, I think we're going to get destroyed. But hey, Theme Dex is generally a game of whoever gets set up quick. Milotic! We've got Milotic! Okay. Which means we'd probably get one turn. I'm inclined to attach the Tim Hall here. And use energy switch. The Lapras is going down anyway. Actually, we need to switch that energy to Milotic. Because that's what we're going to use next. Okay, so we're hit done. So, we are probably just going to get one chance to use Clear Surge. And what we need to get is we're going to need to get Palpatode, Seismitoad, and Silent. That's what we need. So we see a Fisherman from my opponent to get some energy back. Fisherman is a card I like. Although it's not found its way into any of my competitive decks recently. I just haven't got the space for it. I probably don't run enough basic energy, to be honest. Okay, so the Lapras goes down. We get one chance to use Clear Search now with Milotic. So what are we going to top deck? Another Tim Pole, so we're not going to bench any of those. We're just going to go right ahead and use Clear Search. So. Palpatode. Seismitoad. in here, that's good. Oh, no, it's going to get knocked out before that. It does any good anyway. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go with those three, and then we're going to be having to take something of a chance. Because next turn we can evolve to Palpatode and we can use its supersonic attack to confuse the Gyarados. In the meantime, we'll be using Silence to get another energy on there, and then the following turn we can use Seismitoad's Echo Voice. So, Milotic goes down, 180 damage. Actually, Gyarados seems to be getting stronger. Right, so we're going to promote the, pal the, the Tim Pole, I should say. Then, we are going to evolve to Palpatode. going to play Silent. One energy. Two energy. Three energy. That just leaves one single water energy in the deck. So 
also will attach energy to Palpatode. And this is where we pray that the fates are on our side. We're going to use Supersonic to confuse the Gyarados. And basically it all comes down to this. If my opponent flips tails and attacks themselves, then we can evolve to Seismitoad and start attacking with some big, bigger damage. If my opponent flips heads, the game is effectively over. So let's see what's going to happen here. So what's my opponent just evolved to? Dodrio, is that? Yes, as long as this Pokemon's on your bench, your active Pokemon's retreat cost is two less. Well, that could be quite useful. Yes, my opponent flipped tails! Oh, that's excellent. In fact, we can actually get a knockout on this now with our uh, Seismitoad. That was the bit of luck we needed. Now, that Articuno is, is powered up, granted, but... Well, nearly powered up, but I think my opponent's probably got the energy. So, we're going to use Echoed Voice for 50 damage, and that will knock out the Gyarados. This game is far from over. We're not out the woods yet. Okay, there's an Oshawott. So my opponent will definitely promote the Articuno here, that much I am certain of. So there's the fourth energy, we're going to see 100 damage from my opponent now. So we're just going to use Echoed Voice again next turn because there's absolutely no point whatsoever in using Drain Punch. Because healing 20 damage, we're still going to get knocked out the following turn anyway. Right, there's a Crushing Hammer. We're going to play that. Heads? Definitely doing well on the heads flips today. I don't think we've really flipped many tiles this game. Right, so we're going to bench Oshawott. Going to attach an energy to it. And then we're going to use Echoed Voice for 100. Which leaves my opponent with just 10 hit points. Oh, I love this song. Pokemon the first movie. Pikachu's vacation. Love it. Okay, so my opponent finds another energy, so it's Bye Bye Seismitoad. Okay, so... My opponent has one prize left, but we're about to take the knockout on the Articuno, and my opponent doesn't have any more energy on the board. Okay, so we're going to evolve to Duot. No point benching any of the other Pokémon. Rain Splash for 20 will take the knockout on the Articuno. So we'll take our third prize card. Which is a water energy, that's excellent. I, I thought some of them were prized. So, one has to wonder what is my opponent going to do here? My opponent has no energy on the board at all. Does my opponent have energy in hand? Right, we see a Lapras. Healing Scarf onto the Lapras and an energy that will heal. 10 damage off of the Lapras, and Errant Running, which searches for a trainer card. I mean, you'd like to think that my opponent still has quite a bit of energy available to them. Let's check the discard, especially if using the Fisherman as well. Okay, so they've got 9 water energy in the discard, so most of these built-in theme decks have between 16 and 20 energy. So, yeah. My opponent may not have that many left. So, we'll put another energy onto the Duot. And we're just going to use Rain Splash, because that's all we can do. I mean, it's maybe kind of inevitable that my opponent's going to take a knockout on us eventually, but I guess we'll just see what happens. There's a second energy. Oh, and they heal off the damage we did. I suppose Healing Scarf is one of those little annoying cards that sees little play in competitive, but in theme decks it's actually quite effective. Okay, just a pass from my opponent. We'll just use Rain Splash. If my opponent gets another energy, I think this game is probably over. Yep, if my opponent flips heads here, that's it, game over. 
Tails, we live to fight another day, but we're going to get knocked out next turn, so... Although, we did draw into Great Ball. And guess what, there's no Samurott there. Okay, so we'll draw into Palpatode. We'll evolve. Now, how many energy have we gone through? Right, there's 10 in the discard. There's 2 there. We know there's 14 in the... 16 in the deck. So, 10 in the discard, 2 on there. There's 12. That leaves 4 energy. There's one more in the deck, which means... Which means our remaining 3 prizes are all energy cards. Okay. Time for a little bit of trickery. Since we're probably going to lose anyway... We're going to have a little bit of fun. So, we're going to take an energy from here, put it onto Palpatode, then we're going to retreat the Duot for Palpatode. You see what I'm doing here? We're going to use Supersonic to see if we can buy ourselves a turn. Of course, if my opponent flips uh, heads here to attack, then we automatically lose. But we're going to lose anyway, so... Might as well throw a bit of chance in there. Oh, my opponent flips heads, so that's game over. Or, yes it is, yeah. Okay. Hmm, that's an appropriate piece of music. Yeah, so, okay, so we lost this one. And I think we're still at more losses with Theme Deck Thursday than we are wins, but... The aim of these videos is to just show you the different theme decks that they provide for you to use when you start out on TCGO, and it's kind of fun, so that's why we keep doing it. So, yeah, that's it for episode 6 of Theme Deck Thursday, I had to think then. Uh, next week we'll be using the black and white basic orange deck, which is one of my favourite decks to use. So we'll just wait for this to load here. My computer seems a little bit laggy this morning. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we'll be using the black and white basic orange deck next time, because that's one of our most favourite decks. It's the next one in the black and white built-in series. So... That's it for this week. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button for me. If this is your first time to the channel, please do subscribe. would love for you to join. I do regular videos on a Wednesday and Thursday. And I've got a semi-regular series on the 1st and 15th of every month. And I just do random videos at any other given point. You can get in touch with me the usual ways. You can find me on email, um, PokemonTrendNeats at uh, Hotmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter at PokemonTrendNeats. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon.